connected to the back. Now do the same. 5 plus 3. And connect it to the front. This is different polarity. That's the unit. Just check polarity here. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so these 1, 3 and 5 have the same polarity and 2, 4, 6 have the same polarity. The, here it's not matching, so here it matches. Those are same polarity. Now when you reverse it, you reverse polarity. So now here it doesn't fit. But there it does. So this one again has same polarity here, so that must fit over here. When you make this build three layers thick, then simply take three units and cut them in half. Here the polarity is wrong, so just turn it over. Now what's interesting about this hexagon is that those two sides are exactly the same and they have six units. However, this side has seven units and still it's just about the same length as those. However, if you look at the diagonal, this is about the size of a stick, this also. However, this one, the stick is longer, and that's because this angle here is sharper than this angle. To make these heptagonal structures, you need these little units to make them Put three on top of five and connect to the back. Again, three on top of five and now connect to the front to change polarity. So these are different in polarity. This one goes in here and now close it. So that's the unit. Make one more. Over here there are seven locations to put single ones. Now these two have been made with different polarity, that's how to make that object by simply joining the back, but not symmetric, not like this, but like this, so that this dot falls in between here. And over here it has been made with three of them on top here and three of them over there 
only those have the same polarity.